hello welcome to this video so today we are going to uh, learn how to make a, a simple kind of modern chair is something like this so in this scene i just have created a new uh, scene default scene in the blender and uh, imported a new image of a modern stool and i will have the um, image link in the description below so as we can see here the legs are kind of like plain so i'm just gonna add a plane shift it to add plane and resize is pretty uh huge like uh chair and in the edit mode just uh, move it slightly from its origin point so we can easily apply the mir mirror modifier and uh, we can play with it now just move it uh something as you want something like this the space between two legs and then we all we have to do just match the pretty good size of the leg then all you have to do to uh, go to the modifier settings and add the mirror modifier now we got uh, the mirror image of the leg so as uh, as you can see if i done anything right uh, in the right side it will the mirror in the left one so uh, you just have to uh, turn on the clipping inside the mirror modifier so that uh, uh, it will not uh, intersect each other's faces uh, uh, from the center point so it will be uh, helpful for us i will show uh, show you how it will be so first i will extrude it uh, until the size of the leg of this chair in this photo something like this and now scale it a little bit just a little bit not too much now just i will uh, move this uh, upper face in inward size and now again go back to the um, side view and then extrude and move a face and then rotate then again extrude rotate and again something extrude and rotate so uh, as you can see we have switched on our clipping inside the mirror modifier so when we extrude it it will just uh, just attach to each other there is uh, if we switch on switch off the clipping it will intersect each other or the both faces so clipping just done the uh, done uh, the kind of clipping bit, uh, between the center point point or mirror point of the uh, modify uh, of the mesh so now all we have to do i guess we got a pretty good leg two legs of the chair so uh, if we move both in the y direction and uh, it will help you when we switch uh, select the y direction then we got a uh, four leg that is was pretty simple and now we got four legs of our chair and there is not too much going on so now as you can see here we got uh, four legs and uh, this is too smooth part in the image and we have to literally to sharpie edgy edgy parts in our scene going on so now for fixing this we will add uh, some loop cuts and a loop cut again and again a loop cut i will fix the uh, what to say i will fix the edgy edgy problem edgy problem or sharp edges problem ladder but we have to complete our mesh first so um, you just have to add a pretty much some loop cuts to make it something like that and now I will just select the faces which I want to exclude. So now when we exclude the faces again we have switched on our clipping so uh, it is working on pretty good with this and uh, as you can see we got our uh, almost 40% of mesh uh, ready mesh of our modern chair. So uh, it was pretty simple uh, till now. And it is, uh, I'm sure you will feel the simplicity of the blender. Now, all you have to do some add a loop cut uh, down there for uh, uh, leg room of the chair. 
and just a loop cut right here and uh, loop cut okay okay this thing is messing up so no uh, just again control r uh, and add a loop cut something like mm, yeah okay now we have to do uh, this part of means the leg room of the modern chair now we have to select the face in the face selection mode and just exclude it on uh, like this uh, we can exclude it uh, again the clipping is on so it's uh, working pretty good and now we have to do same process still here uh, but i think we are doing something wrong because as you can see this is uh, this part of the uh, legroom of the chair is completely different from the mesh uh, it is just attached with some few nuts so we will then it separately um, all things will be done separately like uh, um, we will then some things separately and add in assemble in the same pattern okay now we have to do something like uh, uh, currently we will fix just a uh, edge edge problem for that you have to just uh, go to modify second settings and add subdivision modifier which is a pretty common modifier which is used in every mesh you know when you are modeling in the blender it's the uh, most common modifier that you will be using in the uh, means in the, your modeling or uh, whatever you are modeling now we got uh, something like this but uh, uh, i know we don't want uh, this mess going on here and i know how to fix it so you just have to go back to edit mode and control r to add some edge loops down the legs and slide it down till the uh, edge so it will make some curvy uh, thing but uh, still a kind of sharp curvy thing going on now we will fix the top one same thing uh, same process for this also add some loop cut then again control r and loop cut then again control r and uh, again a loop cut this will make our mesh too much sharpy edgy and not too much mousy it's look i think it's look perfect like the image but when we uh, increase the viewport it will make it too much too much smooth down the mesh now we will uh, i think this looks pretty good but uh, we will move down the uh, viewport to one uh, until we complete our mesh because it's uh, kind of uh, increase your uh, um, subdivision count and uh, it could be uh, result in some kind of lag and uh, increase in render time so um, just uh, we are now going to make this leg room over there so for this it uh, seems pretty good as uh, pretty like a plane so again we go to shift and add a plane and then scale it on the x axis until the legs of the chair something like this and again scale it on the y axis something like almost just touch it uh, touch it should touches the just touch the uh, leg edges of the legs so then move it by pressing g upon uh, z axis and now you can see we should scale it down something like this and now we just go into the edit mode and uh, uh, press i you have to just uh, uh, select our face in the water selection and just press i uh, when you press i it will duplicate the uh, same image what uh, whatever it is uh, you have selected a face and duplicate it in the smaller size you can add any um, as many you want any um, what you say so just you have to press i and select the face so we don't want this face so we'll just press x to delete it and only face uh, now 
I think uh, this is pretty thick so we will go back to edit mode and select all uh, press A to all and exclude it upper side now you can see we got something uh, better going on here uh, which is I guess we are up to 60% of uh, our mesh completed so we will just add a subdivision surface to it <coughs> sorry so it just messed up our mesh so now we just have to uh, do again the loop cut thing so we will add the loop cut on uh, each and every side of the uh, ring or uh, whatever you say a leg room uh, we'll add control r to uh, loop cut again a uh, loop cut control r control r and again a uh, new loop cut which will uh, seems uh, pretty boring at uh, some point when you have to uh, add something like 20 or 30 loop cuts which seems pretty boring to watch but it's uh, mm, it will make your mess too good so now you just have uh, as we, you can see we have completed our loop cuts um, so now you can see it's a kind of a ring which is uh, uh, not like and the uh, photo so again we are going back to into the edit mode and again add some loop cut in the outer uh, means we have to uh, uh, we want a flat edge so we will just add a loop cut like here and slide it over top and again a loop cut again loop cut slide it down and now we just have to increase our viewport but it is too too smooth inside of the uh, ring or whatever you say it legroom or ring it's too smooth so we also have to fix that and um, again we have to add a loop cut how to add that okay control r to add loop cut bring it to the top and again add a loop cut and bring it to the bottom so as you can see we have completed our uh, kind of uh, uh, good kind of our uh, bottom line of the chair uh, which was pretty simple and you can see in the next video how simple is to be to the to be the construct the top of this chair so as you can see for uh, for now it is uh, pretty done and pretty smooth so we uh, if you can see I just applied uh, those I just applied for mirror modifier first then applied a uh, subdivision surface it just messed up our mesh it is uh, I guess looking something uh, messy going on here so we just uh, uh, press ctrl z pretty much time and then first apply mirror modifier then apply subdivision surface so now as you can see this is pretty good I guess for this video so uh, firstly you uh, when you move your ring it should move uh, the whole table or when you move the legs it should move whole thing so we will just parent the both things uh, if you want to parent the ring uh, then first uh, select the object and then select the ring then control p and select the object then now you can see they are become a one when you select the chair it will not move uh, it will move uh, solo and when you select the uh, leg room or uh, it will move to uh, whole but I just want to make the legs to the um, to be apparent so I will select the ring first and then legs and then control P and object now you can see uh, when you move your legs it will just move the whole mesh so it's just been parented now uh, in the next video